Uh-huh. So that's it. Oh, good. Good we found it. So good we put this flag in. So this is the side, and so the data logger is, is right here. And they're mostly there. So I try to hide it from, uh, mostly from animals, because they like to chew on the wires. Some of the boreholes were established in the late 70s, early 80s by a professor who worked here before me. He retired now, Professor Osterkamp. And since then, these boreholes were measured practically every year. So we have continuous records of uh, permafrost temperatures since late 70s. We use our measurements to validate and calibrate our model, permafrost model. So it's a little bit dirty, but still working, it seems like. So this is a small indicator that's showing that it's, it's blinking, means that it's still, it's still logging. This is a permafrost distribution and temperature of ground. Uh, this is a temperature scale. Everything red is above zero Celsius. Mm -hmm. and blue is below zero. So that's our four sensors attached to the logger through these ports and it goes into the ground. At surface at about 50 centimeters, one meter and one, 1 1.2 meters. What we are collecting now is two years of data uh, which uh, measured every one hour. So one hour interval, uh, two years, and this is the graph you can see here. So uh, there is surface data, of course, warmer in the summer, cold in the winter, and then subsurface and one meter depth is, uh, is right here. This permafrost model used as a climate forcing composite ensemble of five global climate uh, models. Uh, atmospheric models it was scaled down to two by two kilometers for Alaska. So all two years of data collected now and we can work with this data to see what how permafrost, uh, what temperature of permafrost is and how vulnerable it is. And actually I can see it's pretty uh, high temperature so I guess it's something on the order of minus one degree Celsius here. So, and it's it's warm, but it's also very icy, we know, because of the damage of the house. This picture uh, is kind of modern situation uh, for 2000-2009. It's exactly uh, what we have uh, in comparison with our measurements. Uh, it's, I would say, it's pretty realistic picture. I will show you kind of forecast. This is 220, 229. I must say this is a temperature at two meters depth. It does not mean permafrost disappeared completely. Mm -hmm. It's just mean annual temperature and two meters depth. Mm -hmm. uh, Permafrost could be over there, mm -hmm. but uh, the table of permafrost just goes down. But you can see the north slope is still stable permafrost. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Sergey collected data and then relaunched, uh, started again, and now it's ready for another couple years of, of collecting data. So.